गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई नो यू ऑल आर वरीड अबाउट द एग्जाम फॉर्म फिलिंग फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज विंटर एग्जामिनेशन 2021 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन सो टूडे आई विल क्लियर यूर ऑल द डाउट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द गाइडलाइंस फॉर दिस विंटर एग्जामिनेशन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन सो दिस एग्जाम विल बी कंडक्टेड बाय ऑनलाइन मोड दैट यू नो सो दिस एग्जाम विल बी इमेज प्रॉक्टर्ड फॉर दिस इमेज प्रॉक्टर्ड एग्जामिनेशन You have to use the Android mobile phones, laptops, or computers in which you can capture the image clearly. So, make during the examination you have to on your camera for this image proctoring purpose. Examination mode uh, that is multiple choice questions will be asked for your examination. Then next thing is allow the exam portal to use the camera of your devices for proctoring purpose that is necessary. to start your examination after the end of uh, examination the students are supposed to keep the record of screenshots taken after completion of exam so when your paper ends you are submitting your paper when the uh, notification is seen that is your paper is successfully submitted at that time you have to take its screenshot for your record purpose then uh, when your exam time is over the paper will be submitted automatically if you are not going to submit your paper within time but if the time gets over your paper will be submitted automatically so don't worry about the submission of your paper if in case of a network issue if anybody is not able to submit the paper on time then also you don't have to worry about this because at the end of your examination when time is over at that time your paper will get submitted automatically then next thing is for mcqs the students have to select one option out of four given options and then you have to click on save and next button so so the next uh, questions will be seen further the most important thing is there is no negative marking for this examination for each and every question you will get the mark if the answer is correct then the question paper will be consist of 70 questions each question will carry 1.5 marks and the maximum marks will be 75 so out of these 70 questions you can attempt any number of questions then time duration for the examination is 90 minutes that is 1.5 hours time given time is given for the examination and the, your examination window is open for 3 hours so in between that 3 hours you can take any uh, one one and half hour for your examination that is starting one and half hour or at the ending one and half hour but you have to attempt the examination within that 3 hours only examination will be conducted in two sessions that is morning session is from 10 am to 1 pm and afternoon session is 2 pm to 5 pm so as per your timetable check the timing for your paper and accordingly you have to log in for your examination next thing is no change in the mobile number of student is accepted till the examination is ends because you will get all the notifications on your mobile number and email id so there will not be any change in the mobile number till the examination is ends you can register your grievances within 24 hours of the examination so how to uh, register your grievance that is the question so it is compulsory to register your grievance by filling the google form so link of this google form is available on the university website also and i am also giving this uh, google form link in the description you can check it for which paper you want to register the grievance on the same day of your paper within 24 hours of uh, that examination you have to register your grievance then exam form filling that is the most important thing for all of you so no need to fill any examination form for this examination because institute has received the data of your all second year students from the university in that excel sheet your name prn number mobile number and email id is given just you have to just cross check it either it is correct or wrong your mobile number email id is you have to check it neatly most important thing is your prn number because exam is conducted on the base of your prn number only so check your name prn number mobile number and email id neatly if it is correct 
then go for your payment that is 1000 rupees exam fees you have to pay in your institute only to the authority person and after paying the fees you have to check the status of your exam form in front of your name in the same excel sheet the status is updated by your controller of examination or any authority person that is your exam form is approved or not approved if you are paying the fees then only the form will get approved if you are not paying the fee then form will not be approved by your institute so that's why fill this examination form as early as possible last date for this form exam form filling or the exam fees payment is 24th march 2022 so before 24th of march you have to pay this fees and you have to check your details in the excel sheet which is given by the university to your institute along with your fees when this data is submitted to the university by your institute at that time you will receive the username and password for your examination from the university so it is necessary to complete this process before the due date that is 24th march 2022 then only you will receive your username and password before the examination so do this process as early as possible i hope i have cleared your all the doubts if still you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment section i have also provided the link of telegram channel in the description box you can join the telegram channel so you can directly contact with me on that channel